Uh, as you can see, kind of had a mess up last night. This right here is our problem. This is a giant glob that has been hardened on, of course, because I turned off the printer. It was all my fault. I tried to make you go too fast. If I can remember correctly, Elegoo has a speed recommendation of like 30 to 60 millimeters per second. I think this thing has a top speed maybe of like a 120, maybe 150 before it really messes up. Well, my son and I didn't want to wait the 28 hours for that. We, we took some shortcuts and it, it, it made a catastrophic failure. I've made a video before about, oh no, I had a clog, what do I do? I'm going to show you a different way. I went out and just bought a whole new head. Um, today we're actually going to fix this head. I don't know what I was talking about. Oh yeah, I have a 3D printer. Uh, let me bring you in closer. I just want to show you some stuff. So I'm kind of just shooting this from the hip. Uh, I, I feel like they're better sometimes. So let's tear this thing apart and fix it together so as you can see here this thing was grinding just grinding look at all those little red and pink specks all over it was just chewing on the gear was chewing on the filament as it was going through so oh shit oh well but let me get my tools out and we're gonna take this thing apart we're gonna i don't know why i'm doing this it's a monday it's always a freaking Monday. It's always a Monday. So what we need to do is take this entire shroud off. Getting this, the, the fan shroud off, really opens up a whole new area. I still have the original that I had on here. That fan shroud, there's gonna be two little screws here and on the other side of it. And all that is gonna do is just let you pop this whole, or slide actually this whole thing off. Now, I have the one or both fans actually disconnected, but they will be connected back here on the side. When you slide it out, just kind of go like that with it and it will open up the whole area so you can see inside. The nozzle and heat break uh, are actually out of this one because they're broken. Oh wow, that was actually loose. And it's gone. <laughs> Don't worry, I've got a surplus of these things. Slide right off a little bit, wash the wires, and ta-da, it's hanging. So there's that beautiful clog up in there. And uh, yeah, let's see how bad it is. Whoops, I can just use my fingers. This thing's been cooled down for quite a while, so. Oh yeah, I can see some stuff in there. Yep, come on. Yep. I bet you a good percentage of you, and I'm going to say at least 60 to 70%, have seen this before. Uh, it's actually not too bad. It's really not too bad because it didn't leak that bad up into there. So, what I'm going to do now, of course, I've turned off this printer beforehand so I didn't get burned or anything else. But uh, we're gonna turn it on now. I'm gonna plug it back into the wall and uh, heat this sucker up. Is usually, that's the only thing you really need to do. Let's get started. All right, we'll get this out of the way too. That's also a good thing to do is keep spare parts, keep all the screws and stuff like that because you never know, some of them are actually good Let's press the on button. Get some power to this. So what I'm gonna do, go to prepare, go to temperature, and I'm just going to do, uh, what is this, That's PLA? So I'm just gonna start off at 180 and bring it up to temperature. What you're gonna wanna have on hand is a, little brass brush 
Possibly some uh, si old side cutters. I would do old side cutters just because you, they're going to get messed up here and there. Um, I have a little thin, uh, thin blade uh, metal spatula. Uh, I'm not heating up the bed, by the way. It's just the nozzle. So we'll see what we can do from there. We have it up to 180 degrees Celsius. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my old side cutters. Oh yeah, look at that. It's already moving right off. And see, big old blob of it. So there's the nozzle underneath it. Oh yeah, please be careful because this is extremely hot. Now we're going to take the, ooh, a little close there, <laughs> brush your teeth. <laughs> I really am elevated today. I'm going to take this brush and just try to brush it off of everything. I just hit the fan. <laughs> oh, yeah. It looks like I'm tearing off old strawberry jam. Ugh. That's what it looks like. Oh, hit the fan again. Man, that stuff got all over, but not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Now, as I said, I was just pushing my machine way too much. As you see, I'm kind of calm about this because this has happened quite a few times to me. Because I try to push my machine to the limits. This is a Neptune 3, so it's still running the older Marlin programming. Uh, it's not a clipper machine. But now that it's cleaned up, I will get out a nozzle wrench. Something like, say, like this. That's going to fit a, what is it, six millimeter? Oh, it's loose. Jesus. that. You know what? This was totally my fault. This was not the machine's fault whatsoever. Look how loose that is. I barely, barely used any energy. There we go. Now that we have this all cleaned up, I'm going to shove my freaking brush in there as best as I can into the nozzle area. Clean out anything that would be on those threads up there. Try to get it as clean as possible. Next, drop my little nozzle into the wrench itself and find the hole. Let's get that in there. Lefty loosey righty tighty. Started it off. Remember, this is still hot, so please be careful. And this time, I'm going to make sure that it's tight in there. I can't believe how loose that was. That wasn't my intention to show you how badly I put my machines together. I hope I got that on video. <laughs> Next thing I'm going to do is take the side snips Get off all that grinded off part and just drop that over there. Put that into the top, just like I'm putting in regular stuff. We are going to see if we can get anything coming through that nozzle right down in there. Yep, there we go. Can you see it? There we go. There we go. Now what I usually do is I slowly push it out, making sure that there's no clogs coming through or anything else. Then I back the wheel off a little bit. Just so it stops. Ta-da! So, uh, nozzle's good. I'm going to 
hit that button to turn off the nozzle, let it cool down so I can put everything back together. My little silicone shroud, pop that in. The nozzle and everything is cooled down now, so it's at about 39 degrees, so that's not too awful bad. But push that right on. As I said, I already checked all the wires and everything. I'm just gonna move everything back around. Fan shroud back together. Now, where did I drop those screws? There they are. And this time I will put them in snugly. As I said, the, the one was very loose. The other one was snug, but that was weird. I usually like to snug my nuts all the time, so when it, a nut's not snugged, means I wasn't snugging it. And I really like to make sure they're good and snug. As I said, welcome to my only printer. God damn, I should change the name of the channel to that. <laughs> and I can wear a bikini all the time, too. You know you guys would love that. All right, cool. All set. All back together. So, there we go. 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 Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now, let's see if this will focus in. As you see, this is what's left of the old nozzle. Uh, it's very uh, yucky, as you can see. It was falling on the floor. That's what it did. It... It's very clogged up. Can you save this actual nozzle and everything? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. How do you do it? It's kind of it's kind of funny, but uh, you just heat it up and then drop it into some water. We're not going to do that. Next thing we got to do is clean this thing. Easiest method I do. Is the airbrush. You can see it, it just tons of this little. It was grinding everything away. Oh no, that ain't good. I guess I'm going to get that mirrorless camera when uh, Christmas comes. Shit. Are you okay in there? What I'm doing now is just moving the reels and pulling the tab over every once in a while. She's a dirty girl. It's dirty in there. There's all the red stuff from the filament that I was using. So, And, uh, yeah, it, it, it's, it's all over just blowing out of there so let me give this thing a really good blow and uh i'll see what happens <laughs> and let's not break the camera again i knew that was going to happen this is not good and of course once you got the machine running and everything you want to do your tests you're going to have to level your bed Tried and true paper method right up here in the corner. Uh, I can't tell you anything different. A little bit of a drag. Little bit of a drag. Little bit of a drag. It's all you want. So, make sure your machine is uh, leveled out and everything once you put in your new nozzle and give it her a test drive. Print something out really quick. Yeah, pretty cool. So this video, impromptu because of uh, this, you know, gigantic freaking thing. This is this is probably the biggest articulated thing I've ever made. I hate making these things because I'm like, that's not what 3D printers are for. But the love and admiration that I get from my son about this, oh man, that's what makes a 3D printer worth it. So uh, I said many a times that I love this stuff. This is my passion. And yes, it is a helpful hobby, but it's not all about just fixing the machine and working on the machine and diagnosing the machine and everything else. It's 
about the fact that I can use this for many different other hobbies. Uh, my gardening, my fishing, uh, my <laughs> my photography and videography. Now this thing's going to the garbage. I I don't like it. That sucked. Man, poor camera. It's all dirty now. And it's not focusing right. Oh, there we go. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully, uh, we'll do some more art stuff soon. Uh, I really hope you like that. But I want to hear from you what you want to see. Uh, as I said, I love showing you how to work on your machines, but I also love doing a lot of art stuff. So if you would like to see that too, give me a follow. Give me a subscribe. Give me a like. Uh, give me a comment. I want to hear from you. This is Helpful Hobbies. I'm not just helping myself. I'm here to help you. Thanks again. And let's get back to printing. And not breaking my camera. <laughs>